The warmly welcoming town of Mudgee knows how to play host and is ready to deliver another fabulous day of racing and entertainment when it stages the Central District's qualifier of the New Haven Park Country Championships on Sunday, February 28. Golgon trainer Brett Thompson is aiming three horses at the Mudgee qualifier, including Amy Shadow, a mare familiar to Sydney racegoers via her two wins in Tab Highways. She always puts her best in. Just love the way she relaxes out the back and can get home over the top of a good pace. Um, we've got Jason Collard will be coming up to ride her at Mudgee. He's won on her twice in town. So just, she's gone out and had a spell since she's won the two down two highways and come back a lot stronger. She's doing everything right. I, I just think that she'd be very hard to beat at Mudgee. I always feel confident when I take her to the races because she's one of them horses that just performs every time she goes around. So as long as she does her best and we have her at her best, we'll be happy. But while Amy Shadow is the one with City wins to her credit, Thompson is also keen on the chances of his others, starting with another mare, Northern Lights. She's going really good. She looks terrific, the mare, and I'm really happy with her and I'm really confident in her running a big race and hopefully she can finish it off and do the job. Five-year-old gelding Slady Bay is not to be discounted either. He was a young horse that showed us ability first up and um, then he won a, a pretty handy race and like a, one of them um, showcase races and then he just went off the boil and we couldn't work out what was wrong and he just wasn't finishing his races off. To give himself the best possible chance of at least one of his horses qualifying for the half million dollar New Haven Park Country Championships final over 1400 metres at Ramwick on April 3, Thompson employs renowned chiropractor Gary Christo to help keep his gallopers sound. Christo travelled the world with former champion sprinter Takeover Target more than a decade ago to help get him to race days. Well, we've been over three of them this morning just doing a bit of body work on them and um, I think out of the three probably the one that impresses me the most is Amy Shadow because she's actually bodied up a lot since her last prep. She's got a lovely blanket of dapples on her and she looks nice and ready. I think the other two are probably not far behind her but um, they're all sound, so I would say they're all ready to go and take their part. From a pair of healing hands to a horse by the same name, Bathurst trainer Gaynor Williams produced healing hands to win last year's country championships qualifier at Mudgee. And she's aiming at the same target first up, with the winner of five races from nine starts on February 28. I think he's a little bit more race-wise now. He's, um, he has been a bit of a slow learner, but I think he's a lot better and, and a lot more switched on this prep. I think he can go well fresh. I don't think that'll worry him at all. I'm not concerned about the 1400 uh, at all, first up, and uh, no, I think that'll suit him. He raced well in the final last year, and yeah, I'd have to say I'd be confident that he'd be competitive. Williams also has other horses in the mix, including From the Bush, which has won multiple races on wet tracks, and Chev Coney. We've put the blinkers on him this prep, uh, and then seem to think he's a little bit better with them, so he can focus a little bit more. Doesn't mind the wet at all, and um, no, he handled those wet tracks pretty well. I wouldn't mind seeing it wet for the three, actually. Chev Coney's going really well, and he's a nice horse on the way up. I've got a lot of time for the horse and I think he's, he's a very progressive horse, uh, certainly with a lot of upside. Across at Wellington, the local trainers are looking to impact on the Central District's qualifier. Michael Mulholland's Old Harbour won several races over the spring and summer to become a contender. He'd be right up there with him. Um, I said he's a few trainers there, he's got a hard opposition, but I think he's a little fire right up with him. He'll get the 1400 now, problem with Turtle. He'll stack up pretty well, he won't be far away. Mudgee Race Club's Colleen Walker promises a great day out for patrons attending the Central District's qualifier of the New Haven Park Country Championships on Sunday, February 28. It's a day that trainers from the region, as well as race goers, look forward to enormously. We are so excited. This is our fourth year and actually we're quite humbled by being able to host this, the richest country series in the world and we can hardly wait. 
We're here to make your day as happy and as pleasant as possible. And Williams also can't wait to defend her crown. Really exciting knowing it's coming up every 12 months and it gives you something to work for, uh, a goal to try and achieve and for the owners as well and uh, they become very excited about it. It's a really good concept and the race is worth such good prize money and it's so restricted so it makes it very enticing for owners and trainers.